Welcome back, Pokepur Nation. Hope y'all having an amazing day today. And happy New Year's Eve to everybody out there from my family to yours. We are going into the final round, unless there's a tie by some chance between Battle Styles. We got 15 packs apiece today, and we got Fusion Strike, 15 packs. And uh, we're going to let Battle Styles go first. <clears throat> but first and foremost, if you have not watched round one and round two, or just round two, make sure you go check out the set battle playlist um, in my playlist section and go check out round one and two or just round one or whatever you missed before we get into this and we start spoiling uh, round one and round two. And make sure, if you have not picked your team already, uh, pick hashtag Fusion Strike or hashtag Battle Styles. And uh, let's see who is going to win this uh, and take home the, uh, the prize today. So, I mean, if you looked at the thumbnail and saw the final round, and, you, and you're not new, you should know that it's one-to-one -one right now. But anyways, um, the last round kind of was poo-poo, um, but the first round was pretty awesome. So let's see if we can have an epic round to beat that first round. And let's see if Fusion Strike, which is the team I picked, can pull it off today and not strike out like it does most of the time. So let's see. Maybe it can redeem itself in today's uh, pack battle, set battle. So let's go ahead and start with battle styles, the uh, the defender, not the defender, the uh, yeah, the defender. I guess you could say because it is um, from a previous set. And Fusion Strike is a new guy in town. So let's see. We got Spoink, Bronzor, Santa Conda Reverse Rare, and we got a Marowak. So we got a hit um, Reverse Rare in the first one. And we're gonna keep battle styles on this right side in case you're new to the channel. And Fusion Strike is gonna stay on your left. So today. We got 15 packs of each. First round, we had 10, I believe. Then we go to 12. And then we go to 15 after that. So that's usually how we've been doing it. Um, if we can, you know, depending on if I have the resources or inventory or whatever. But uh, I hope y'all having an amazing New Year's Eve so far. I know it's kind of early if you're watching it at 1.30 uh, Central Time when I put this video out. You're most likely not doing anything yet if you're from America. Um... I'm not going to be uh, at my parents' house until later on tonight. We got a Swampert Reverse Rare. And we got a Dragapult. So we got a double hit Hollow Pack from Fusion Strike. So that's pretty good to start. So it wasn't dud packs to start, so I'm liking it so far. So uh, I wanted to do this video for the last day of the year because I wanted to complete um, the set battle between these two these sets that uh, I put together because they are were the hardest sets of 2021 for me to get pulls from personally. So I wanted to complete this battle before the end of the year. And uh, we are going to be starting off the year, of course, with our December giveaway. It's going to be the last time you can answer for that. The last video of the month, the last video of all uh, of the whole year, actually. But uh, the last video of the month, there's not going to be a short after this in December. So this is the very last long that you can enter in. Leave a comment and like and uh, subscribe to get an entry, to complete your entries for the December giveaway. We got a Lorantis Reverse Rare, and we got a Lorantis Regular. That doesn't happen very often, but it's pretty cool when it does. So we get at least a Reverse Rare and up. I'm absolutely loving this. I don't have a... Uh, <laughs> a master set for either one of these like as far as a binder goes um we possibly could do battle styles but uh there's a lot of cards i didn't pull as far as full arts and everything but i don't put my full arts in the binder anyway so uh but like i said in previous videos we did sell we did put a lot on tcg player and sell a lot of battle styles because we was getting into that at that point uh barracuda and we got a galarian cursula and if you want to check out, I have uh, been listing my PSAs um, from Vintage, and I got a couple modern on uh, eBay. And my my link and my name to my eBay is down in the description. But uh, I appreciate y'all being here, and I just want to say uh, God bless y'all, and I love y'all, and have a happy and safe New Year's Eve today. And, uh, of course, have a happy New Year's Day tomorrow as well, if you do anything on that day as well. Most people... I would say they start about 5, 6 o'clock in the evening in the U.S. And then we uh, basically hang out and drink and eat and all that good stuff. Maybe play some games or whatever we do. 
um, until midnight hits and we go into the new year 2022. So let's go. Make sure y'all safe. Y'all doing stuff safe. Y'all not mixing uh, alcohol and fireworks, you know, driving mostly and uh, just be safe and be kind and go into the new year uh, blessed and uh, happy and a nice, you know, nice person, you know. But uh, we got spongy gloves, Corvus Squire, Gossifleur, Panpour. So we're looking for our first full art hit. Uh, Fusion Strike might start it off. We're going to see. And it did not. We got a Center Scorch. So that's why we gave these. Uh, these these sets need 15 packs more than anybody does. Um, so far, no no points on the board. Looking like round two so far. But we're going to we're going to overcome that. Just like we're going to overcome things that we may have struggled, struggled with in 2021. Uh, maybe finances, maybe uh, relationships, uh, sin, uh, whatever you struggled with in 2021, leave that in the past, move on, repent of that, and uh, just go into 2022 fresh and new as a new person and a beautiful new person uh, with a new attitude, positivity, and all of that jazz, kindness, and everything else. And uh, blessings will rain down upon you. We got a Necrozma V. So that is our first hit on Battle Styles. I'm not even sure if we have this. Um, it looks new, but we, we should have this. We opened a lot of Battle Styles. Very possible we don't. So that's going to be the price, the first hit. Price on the board right there. So uh, I forgot to tell y'all what the packs are from. So since we're on Fusion Striker now, we opened up two building battles from um, our first uh, building battle stadium. We got four packs from PU Kamuku deck. Then we got four packs from Latios. Then we opened up another building battle stadium. And we got three of the loose packs. And then we got a, a whole, all four packs from building battle. We finally got the fourth one. We needed Oricorio. So I'm going to have the promo code for that before the last four packs. And um, battle styles is just 15 packs. From uh, my source that online, I bought 16 packs, um, actually gave, I put one of them in the order for Matt Slay Q, and I took the other 15, I put his first in the order, and then I took the remaining 15 out of the 16 that I bought, just so I can try and get the top chase cards that are on the screen, I dropped them on the floor, uh, so yeah, I forgot to mention the chase cards on the screen, but we got a Hotch Luca Reverse Uncommon, and we got an Appleton V our first hit for Fusion Strike. So we got V versus V. And so far, so good. <clears throat> we got points on each side. That's how you would like to see it. And let's check and see how many packs we got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to do 3 off the top because we're going to leave 8. All right. We're going to uh, do seven first, tell y'all how to enter the December giveaway for the last time in this month. And then we're going to uh, show y'all what's in it and uh, all of that jazz. And then we're going to go into the last eight packs of each set. We got a Pachirisu, Chimecho, Hanich, Horsey, Mankey, Cedra, and we got another V, Rapid Strike, or Shifu V. So we got a show, we showing up, the uh, sets are showing up in this last this final round, unless we get a tie where it's like two center port or maybe exactly the same. It happened before between, um, I think Evolving Skies and maybe Shining Fates, maybe. Not sure. Um, it happened before we had to call it a tie because it was only two cent difference. And you know how much the TCG player prices fluctuate. We got Skaters Park, Morpico, Skarmory, Shalmet, Plusel, Muna, Slugma, and... I thought uh, Fusion Strike was going to answer. So, so far, it is 1V behind. And since it's an Appleton, it's probably uh, not better than 2Vs on the Battle Style, style side. But, uh, yeah. So, let me know down in the comments. Uh, what is your New Year's Eve traditions and your New Year's Day traditions? Um, if it's between your family or your friends or both. Um, I would love to know that. I love to know stuff about your personal life. Um, that's not too personal, you know what I'm saying? Unless you want it to be personal, I got an Instagram down below. I could help you. I could I could help you with any problems you got. I could pray for you. Whatever you need, just let me know either in the comments on here or hit me up on Instagram in my DMs. I could definitely help out 
uh, with whatever I can. We got a Stone Journal Reverse Rare, and we got an Age of Slash, so we got a double hit pack. This one does have a print line on the bottom, so that's Pooty Papa. And <clears throat> we're going to cover up the Rapid Strike or Shifu V. Put that on the side. So we're going into round six in this round three. So let's see if we can beat a V um, early on in this pack battle. Diggers by Sydney. Cross switch out. Meow. Meddy. Heliopta. Woo. Got some Fleur. Toxel. And we got a Landorus. We got a Landorus. Let's go. Okay. So we're doing pretty good as far as getting hollow hits, hollow rares and stuff. Um, not as bad as round two was. We didn't really get anything to even talk about in round two because it was terrible. Um, it was absolutely terrible. We only had like an octillery on the battle style side out of uh, 12 packs. So that was terrible. And I think we only had like two Vs, one of which was a Gengar because that was nice for the fusion strike side. But uh, let's go. Okay, so we've got a Minfu, a Silicobra. Galarian Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Esper with a Pector, and we got a Lorantis again. Okay. So last pack um, before we go into halftime. After the first seven packs, that is. And we're going to tell you what's in the December giveaway and tell you how to enter as well for the last time. Um, the last month of the year, the last day of the last month of the year, and all that jazz. We got a Dark Energy, Del Caddy. Dark Rye, Crocodile. We're going to see if Fusion Strike can add something before we go into the locker room for halftime. We got a Clam Pearl, a Garbodor, and we got a Galarian Cursala. So, no, not surprising that it didn't add anything before halftime. So, now we're going to go into <clears throat> halftime and tell you first and foremost what is in the December giveaway, the final uh, package for December. Uh, we add to it four times during the month, uh, each new month. Uh, we add four different times new stuff to it. And this is the final, what a final monthly giveaway usually looks like. Uh, something like this, more or less. So we got the Blitzo promo pack, Evolving Sky Sleep Booster, Darkness of Blaze Pack, Sword and Show Base, uh, Latios Brick uh, from Build and Battle, the T Pig. We got the Mew. Try to get a focus, and I just hit the camera right out, so it didn't help. We got the Empoleon V and Tyranitar from V Strike Attempts, Pikachu V from the Pikachu V Box, and we got uh, Team Rocket Unlimited Dark Slow Bro Non Hollow. And all you gotta do to try to win this beautifulness is like this video, leave a comment down below, and be a subscriber to the Pokey Burn Nation. And if you do that on all my shorts and all my longs, and possibly my one medium that I'm gonna be putting out that I put out yesterday, you could get a total of six entries. So make sure that you catch each and every video and like and comment and be a subscriber to the Pokemon Nation so you could catch, uh, get your six entries for that giveaway um, for the last time in um, the month of December and the last day of the year. So let's go. It's going to be a lot of work if you haven't been keeping up. So make sure you try to do it along the way as we go through the month. As you're watching videos, it just makes it way easier. And uh, if you want me to reply to comments, um, I usually will if I get them slowly throughout the month. But uh, if they come all at once, I try to reply to them. But if it's like 20, uh, I'm like, man. And I'm like, uh, I just kind of like like them and do my little heart thing. But usually I will respond completely. We got a Crobat Hollow. So Battle Style is not adding to the two Vs it already got. So let's see if Fusion Strike could answer to at least one of those Vs. These sets, I don't know if y'all had trouble with Battle Styles and Fusion Strike, but uh, they gave me trouble. I know that. Hopefully we could we could uh, end the year with Pokemon uh, having an amazing last seven, eight packs right here, and uh, they could redeem themselves. We got a Trevenant Reverse and... We got a Chandelier VMAX. Let's go. Fusion Strike may have taken the lead, depending on how much those two Vs are worth on the other side. So we got two Vs on Battle Styles versus the VMAX and the V on Fusion Strike. So both of these sets showed up 
I know we got three extra packs, but we didn't get into those yet. So technically, <coughs> it's uh, it's better than round two for sure. Definitely better than round two right now. So I'm happy about that. If I had another round two, I wouldn't have been able to mentally uh, deal with that. But uh, we got a silent it, Corfish, Raleigh Collie, Esper, Shanks, Mian Shao, Reverse Rare. Let's see if Battle Styles can answer. And it did not. It got an awesome clay doll. <laughs> no sarcasm there. We got an awesome clay doll. Um, drop one of my sleeves. Give y'all the code. And let's see if Fusion Strike can add and uh, get something better than a VMAX. Hopefully that v, uh, VMAX Gengar alternate on the screen, that would be awesome. Um, or the Espeon or anything else that we don't have would be awesome. I saw something, so I know we got an at least... At least a V. I'm not trying to peek, but sometimes you just can't help it. Um, I need to get a spot of water after this. We got a semi sea Drapey, Makuhita. That sounds like a, a drink. We got a Rookity, Glarindaromaka, Sizzlepede, Sand Slash, and let's see what that card was that made us peek. We got a Bolton V. We will take it. Let's go. The Bolton V. So Fusion Strike, two full arts in a row. It may have taken the lead just now, if it wasn't already in the lead. So uh, if you're Team Battle Styles, you might be shaking in your boots a little bit, even though Fusion Strike is not that far to lead. And I'm going to get a spot of water. <clears throat> and if you're any kind of water company that does uh, good taste in water bottles or whatever, any kind of form, uh, sponsor your boy, you know. I would, I, would, I would sponsor, I mean, I would take any sponsor, like I said in one of my previous videos, even if they got toilet paper, I'll sponsor toilet paper if y'all want me to. But uh, I won't show myself doing the deed um, on on uh, on stream, on video. So that's going to be private. I'm, I'll talk about it, though. We got a lick of tongue and we got a Mian Shao. So Battle Styles, pretty cold right now. Letting Fusion Strike take off, basically. So we got about five packs left after this Fusion Strike. For both sets, and let's see if Battle Styles could step it up so it doesn't lose um, two out of three, you know? All right, we got Schoolgirl, Chili, Chillin, Cress, Capiraja, Dynamo, Zarua, Shelda, Caterpie, Drill Bear, Cloncher. It was definitely a C named Pokemon pack, and we got a Latias. Okay, so Battle Styles decided not to show up still. That was Fusion Strike, actually. I was wondering, I was going to say they got Latias and Battle Styles, but I was tripping just now. So going into Battle Styles, it's got to redeem itself soon. This is the fifth to last pack. Let's see if it could do it. We got a Fighting Energy Experience Share, per ugly. Tower of Darkness, we got a Pawniard, Manke, Girder, and we got a Jalison. Okay, Battle Styles. Battle Styles is just being its normal self right now. Not surprised. Um, I don't expect much out of either of these sets. Although I am positive about getting some awesome pulls still out of both. Um, I just, it's just not expecting anything. Can't really be too disappointed if your hopes are not high. Um, it is Pokemon card, so I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not like a life changing. I mean, it could be life changing, depending if, if you get something awesome. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> not being negative, I'm just saying. I'm not surprised that these sets aren't uh, popping off the map or popping off the page or whatever you want to say. So we got four packs left for both sets. Battle Styles needs to do something soon. I'm pretty sure it is losing. I picked Team Fusion Strike. So uh, let's see. I would like to get hits on both sides. Make it spicy. I don't want to uh, not get any hits on Battle Styles' side. I want it to be like, a ooh, we got something. Oh, Battle Styles. Is this a Mimikyu Full Art? That is awesome. Is this the Mimikyu Full Art? Let's go! You know what's funny? I I literally, I don't want to spoil anything, but I literally gave this away to somebody. That is the craziest thing, and I kind of got chills right now. I've, I've been knowing this guy wanted this for a long time. Um, him and his wife, or uh, I think they're married. But anyways, if they're not, I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, him and his wife, his wife's favorite Pokemon is Mimikyu, and his favorite Pokemon is Gengar. So uh, he was telling me, I think today, 
um, not actually today, but like Wednesday or whatever, the day we're filming this, um, he was telling me that their favorite card is uh, Gengar and Mimikyu, the tag team, his favorite tag team card. So uh, I sent him one like this, and I don't want to spoil it if he hadn't opened it yet, but he's kind of, hasn't been really watching my videos as they come out, but uh, no offense, Matt, I appreciate you. You can watch him whenever you want, I don't care. He's been with me before, 100 subscribers. But uh, we just sent him this card, and I'm very excited about it. Hopefully he sees this after he opens it, because I want it to be a surprise. But uh, I had to mention that because that is the coolest thing. It just shows you that given, um, if you give, it'll come back to you uh, overflowing, like the Bible says. So that is a pretty cool, um, like, testimony or proof of that. I literally just gave this away to the dude, like, yesterday, like, Tuesday. Um, that is crazy. So we got another one to go into our uh, master set because we was missing it for, like, literally just not even 24 hours we was missing this card because we gave it to my boy who wildly deserves it. Um, that is so cool. Like I said, I got chills right now because that is just so awesome. It's amazing how God works sometimes. So that is the building battle. Um, the one we got, the Oricorio, we got all four of the promo stamped cards from Fusion Strike. So that's cool. So that's a cool little thing that just happened. I love that. Um, we, we actually, we put it on the right side, okay. All right, that is crazy. The last time that happened to me, I gave away the uh, Sligu. Oh, the, the uh, what, what you call it? Maybe it's the Sligu. Or the, I don't know, the, the Sligu Reverse Rare or something like that from Fusion Strike. And we literally got one like right after that. Now, next short, it was a Reverse Rare. So that was cool. We got a Persian and we got a Serena V. Okay. <clears throat> so Fusion Strike coming back. I do know that the Mimikyu was about a $9 card, so Battlestar should definitely be in the lead. I know that Chandelier is not worth a whole lot. What we're going to do a little recap. Just showing y'all, this is what Battlestar's got so far. I think the, Macro the both of these are worth a good bit, and that's like a $9 card, so maybe in trouble if Fusion Strike doesn't pull anything else. But uh, let's see what we got. So we got... Three V's and a V Max on the Fusion Strike side. So let's see. They actually showed up today. I know we got an extra three packs. It usually would be over if it was round two. We're going to get a spot of water. Crazy we pulled that full R Mimikyu. My buddy's been trying to pull it forever. So I'm like, let me send it to him. And because uh, it's not, it doesn't mean as much to me as it means to him and his wife. So I felt like amazing to send it to him. And it came right back to us. That is sick. Like I said, give and uh, you will give get given back um, so much more. So uh, that's what that's the cool thing about being a giver. Even though whenever we give, we don't want anything back. Usually, if you're a hardcore giver, um, but it is nice to get things back. But we're not giving to get things back. So that's that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to give just to get things back. When you do give stuff. Go into the new year with this mindset, besides being positive and uh, encouraged and blessed and everything. Go into the new year giving and not expecting to get anything back. You know what I'm saying? Just give out of the, uh, the uh, kindness of your heart and don't expect to get anything back. And you will literally, you'll get something back in some other way. You don't, like, if you give something away, just give it. If you can't afford to give, then don't give. Um, it's just, just, just how it is. But, um... Yeah, so that's basically my wish for y'all that y'all could uh, change that in your mind if y'all somebody that's always trying to get something back or uh, get over on people, or especially don't do that as well. We got Fusion Strike Energy and we got a Paleo Sand. So yeah, just be be more of a giver. And uh, if you can't give like physical things like money and stuff, Pokemon cards, whatever, um, give time. Give your time. Um, give your time to your family, people that need it in your community. Um, Family, friends, uh, maybe if you're part of a church, give give uh, your time to them. Spend time in church. Um, give Share your gifts. I know I, I might sound like a hypocrite because hypocrite I haven't really been sharing my gift, which is singing. Um, I need to do that. So that's going to be one of my goals in 2022, um, to share my gift of singing that God gave me. Um, so hopefully I'll find a place to do that. We got Scatterbug and we got a Salazzle. So Battle Styles. It's pretty confident in its lead right now. Lightning Fusion Strike try to catch up in its second to last pack. So 
So let's see what we got. So yeah, like I said, I would love to know what y'all do for New Year's, what y'all traditions uh, for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Let it, let it, let New Year's Day, let it down in the comments. It's funny, <laughs> sometimes I'll stutter, but I don't care. I don't uh, edit anything. I'm sure most of y'all enjoy that. It shows my human side, uh, my only side actually, but uh, it shows that I'm a human just like everybody else. We got a Makuhita. Ooh, we got something. I think it's a rainbow. I saw like high numbers, it's like 222 out of 264 so it might not be wait out of 264 i don't know what did i see so i'm thinking it's a rainbow if we get the gengar so let's see it's gonna be a full art it looks like a rainbow so i don't know let's just go for it let's just go for it instead of trying to guess we got the shauna rainbow so i don't know how much this one is but second to last pack uh luck for fusion strike gonna make it hard even with that Mimikyu, I'm not sure how much this is. I wish I knew right now. Um, it should be a decent price. Usually the rainbows are higher than the uh, than the regular. It depends. Some people like the regular trainers more. Myself, I do. I personally like the regular trainers more. Um, but uh, the rainbows are usually worth more as far as price. But um, So we got a little bit thick on the left side on the front. But the top and bottom look good. And this is just a gorgeous card. So very happy about that. I think it's... Uh, we don't have a whole lot of rainbows in Fusion Strike. I'm trying to think if we even have any rainbows in Fusion Strike. But uh, that's a good way for Fusion Strike to uh, to end the year. I know we got one pack left. But awesome way to end the year for Fusion Strike. Let's see if Battle Styles could do it. Did get that full art Mimic UV. So that's awesome. Okay, so if you have not already... This is the channel tradition. Every video, every long we do. Um, if you if you haven't already, hit that last pack luck button right there and give these last packs some luck. Uh, I'm not sure who's in the lead right now, so it could be anybody's game right now. I think we're close to tied right now. I want to say, I don't know. I don't know right now. So y'all know because y'all get the prices as we go. So uh, that's one cool thing about y'all knowing before me. But uh, technically, I know before y'all when I edit the video. But uh, it doesn't show in the video. But uh, technically it does because I'm the one giving y'all the price. But anyways, we got a Victor Bell Reverse. And can we add something in this epic last round of Fusion Strike versus Battle Styles? I think Battle Styles is going to need something to win. And we got something. Tyranitar V. So making it really close now. Now I don't know who's even close. This should be like a dollar card at least. If it isn't. Um, and it's a full art V or higher. We usually still count the V uh, price and the total. Uh, if it's a regular hollow or reverse hollow, we don't count it unless unless it uh, is over a dollar. So all the full art Vs and higher, we count no matter what. And then all the hollows, we don't count unless they're over a dollar. So let's go. All right. <clears throat> Last pack. Luck. Let's see a fusion strike. Can take the win for the end of the year. If y'all add it up through along the way, y'all should know what's going on, who's winning right now, and what Fusion Strike needs to do. But we're going to try to get something awesome in this last pack of luck. So let's see what we could get. And we got a Cinderace VMAX. This is a pretty pricey card. I will say it's probably at least two, $2.50 or $3 plus. So that's awesome. I have no idea who's winning right now. Um, I want to say my, my team, Fusion Strike, is winning. But I'm not sure because um, I'm just not sure right now. So what are we going to do? We're going to do Battle Styles first because I think that's the one that, that didn't win today. And then we're going to do the total for uh, Fusion Strike. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy these pack battles. If you look at when what sets, what pack battles that you're looking forward to see in 2022. I'm um, looking forward to Brilliant Stars, so I'm going to be doing back battles with that set for sure. Just let me know down in the comments if you want to see any previous sets or any sets to go against Brilliant Stars or whatever. But uh, I just want to say, before we get into this, that I appreciate every single thing each and every one of y'all did for the channel, for the Pokemon Nation, and for me personally, in the year 2021. It's been a, a great year of growth I kind of want to put my little uh, 
my little thing that I got from YouTube showing how many likes and hours watched, subscribers, everything on my community tab. I might do that as well. Um, I'm going to have to remind myself to do that. But I uh, appreciate everything y'all did, all the likes, shares, comments, every second y'all watched, everything y'all did for the channel, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. And I truly appreciate y'all and hope y'all have a blessed 2022 and a blessed night tonight. Um, if you're still in the year 2022, if you're not from overseas. So let's see what Battle Styles got. Um, should have the total on the screen right now with Tyranitar V, Rapid Striker, Shifu V, Necrozma V, and we got the Mimikyu V to replace the one we gave to my boy, Matt Slaykew. I'm so happy about that. Like, that's so cool that we got it right back. Literally not even a day after. That's so cool. I love it. All right, so going into... Um, whom I think may have won. I don't know if that Sean is going to be enough. So y'all might have beat me. I picked Fusion Strike, so y'all might have beat me. Y'all know right now because the total is about to go up. We got a Landorus, Dragapult, Swampert, <coughs> Serena V, Bolton V, Appleton V, Chandelier V Max. I think I have this one already. And we have the rainbow like this. Cinderace V Max. I think we have this one too. And we got the Shauna Rainbow Full Art Trainer for the first time. Let's go. So I really hope y'all have a blessed um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and y'all have a, a y'all most blessed year yet in the year 2022. Stay safe. Don't do anything crazy before the new year. Um, don't drink too much. Don't eat too much. You know, don't don't do all that crazy stuff. Get yourself hurt. I want I want to see y'all back watching my videos and uh, talking with y'all and chatting with y'all in live streams. Um, and other people's channels because I don't do them yet. But hopefully we can do them soon. That's one of my other goals as well, to do live streams. So I uh, hope you have a blessed New Year's Eve, like I said, in 2022. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Until next time, baby, peace. Oh.